तो आज एक और हुडीनी ट्यूटोरियल बनेंगे लेकिन हिंदी में है क्योंकि ये मेरे दोस्त का फाल है इंडिया से आए है उसका नाम उसका नाम साधु है <laughs> लेकिन नहीं 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 उसका नाम साधु नहीं है साधु का मतलब फोसी है और प्रॉफिट और समथिंग लाइक दैट उसका नाम संदीप है तो ये उसका फाइल और ये सॉल्व करेंगे रिप्लाई करेंगे लेकिन अंग्रेजी में क्योंकि सब लोग हिंदी नहीं आती तो लेट्स डू दिस ओनली इन इंग्लिश सो डोंट वरी अबाउट नथिंग लेट्स डू दिस ओके सो प्लीज डोंट बी बफल बाय व्हाट आई जस्ट पुट अप बिफोर दिस आई हैवन्ट बीन इन हुडीनी इन अ फ्यू डेज आई बीन काइंड ऑफ डूइंग सम पार्टिकल्स समवेयर एल्स बट Here's a friend of mine from India. He sent me a message and he told me, "Can you help me out with this?" So I thought I'd give it a shot, even though I might not do the exact thing he wants. I might just do it as a video for somebody else who might be trying something similar. Also, loud subs. I think he had said something about this, but I really can't tell whether it's the same effect or not. But same kind of thing. Now, you're gonna create a grid. First, it's up. Basically, we're gonna look at the. Um, far but this is what he really wants to achieve pretty much we're going to try to achieve the same thing if not the same thing he wants the same kind of style pretty much we're going to have to each piece of an arg of the grid to form a separate rbd object and move down as it comes to existence by the gravity force i mean pretty much it pretty much it pops up and goes down well being that it's in um what you call it dops dops only creates on a frame one so actually you really can create uh you can create uh you create the main object on frame one but you'll have other mini i can i don't want to call them mini objects but they're all in there as pieces in there as in the rbg R rbd object but you import all of them at the same time as you can see right now there's nothing if i go back to the grid and uh simulate this particular well not simulate but play in this particular instance you can see how the how he wants the animation to play so pretty much he wants like this particular now be fall in this particular ones at the very front and then the next ones would be you know right behind those so pretty much you would have uh, one on this particular level and the other ones right above right after that and as I, as it goes out forward all these be just like following each other but the problem is when you go to dops over here and let it simulate so as you see it simulates but uh all the objects are already there pretty much when you think about it all the objects are already there so as you <laughs> and there's this thing of no objects processed on last last time step uh then if you look at the very first time step time um time frame let me simulate a little bit well it still says the same thing so i mean this thing really won't work and i can see python everywhere i'm not a, i'm not able to do python so what we're going to do is try to achieve the same effect but kind of a different style so we're going to simulate the rbd objects falling one by one pretty much uh from whatever angle that is or whatever as you know pretty much like so so all these lines is going to fall then the next line is going to fall or whatever is next is going to fall or so like so like so so this will be more like a tile effect depending if you want to simulate tiles but you're going to try to get a ground kind of stuff going so what I'm going to do is actually recreate the whole file I might upload it to side effects Actually, that's where I got the file from because he sent me a message. That's the very first thing I got this morning, and that's what I'm working on. So let's do this. Fresh, clean plate. Let's do this. Hindi mein nahi, Angrezi. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna begin the file. Sandeep, hopefully this is what you want. If not, I'm sorry, but uh, it'd be kind of the close to what you want. So let's do this. So what I'm first do is actually copy and paste this particular thing over here, and this is what we're gonna be working on. So we're gonna rename ours to that, and that should be the name. 
good enough. Now, what we're gonna do is actually recreate the whole thing, only our style. So we're gonna put these guys to the end over here, and we're gonna begin by dropping a grid. And yep, this is a fresh grid, nothing on it. So what we're gonna do is actually put the rows and columns to two by two, so that way you have no divisions, no tiling, no kind of repetition. We wanna create a kind of a ground effect and pretty much what we're going to be doing is actually poly splitting this thing till we get the ground effect that you really want so now pretty much it's going to be the fracture uh that you really most people see you know there's no tutorials but i've wanted to do this but i never had a chance so you're going to go to poly split on the viewport while on the viewport okay there's a view uh tab menu over here you press the tab key but you want to do this while on the viewport it's the same thing but some commands are viewport, um, you know, meant especially for the viewport. So under when you're on the viewport, just press the tab key and go to poly split. Now what you're gonna do is actually split this. So pretty much you're gonna be clicking on the edges. Right now there's nothing in the middle, so you really can't click anything in the middle. So it's pretty much edges. So edges, edges. And it's gonna be a lot of straight lines before you get the whole thing final finally um to where you want. And uh don't get me wrong, you could actually do this in Illustrator, then bring it back in. But uh we're just gonna do this in Houdini, then finalize. So I'm gonna just press enter to get those edges in. Then the tool is still, you know active so pretty much what I'm gonna do is continue so you don't have to like tab and put the poly split again all you gotta do now is actually just continue um, splitting now while well after you've just press enter the last time just press you get what I'm saying okay so we got that running so you just wanna do this till you feel happy Okay, so I'm gonna do this a few more times, then I'm gonna be right back. Okay, now that I got my little thing, you know, it took me quite a few clicks, but I got it finally where well, I kind of like it. It's a little bit extreme on my particular end of the tutorial thingy, being that I spent so much time trying to get it um, done. But uh, as you can see, I got uh, 36 poly splits that I used oh my goodness okay so that's a lot of stuff so you get to look at that that's a lot of nodes pretty much and <laughs> honestly that doesn't look really good on our resume when you send a demo so what we're gonna do right here is actually you can append a null then uh, visualize that then what you're gonna do as of right now is go to the viewport and as I say some things are actually viewport specific so what you wanna do is while it's on the viewport while with the mouse on the viewport is actually right click you wanna right click on the geometry so if you let me right click so I just press the S key in that particular case to get the selection tool and I'm gonna right click now and say geometry then you wanna say delete history so pretty much you see all our nodes pretty much got deleted and I'm gonna just undo that and if you focus on the network editor and you should right click edit it and delete history you see all the nodes get deleted and just get dumped into the null over here now the problem with the null is that uh, it's actually just locked I mean if you upload this and somebody unlocks it and uh, you know saves the file and closes it pretty much to lose everything so if I unlock this I say unlock you see we lose our grid pretty much so what you might want to do is actually save this to a file you're better off like that so you're just gonna uh, under sourcing you can do a file and you don't want that to be the name when you load it so you're just gonna save it to something and what you want to do is actually write the file and you're gonna write it to whatever specific place that you want
and uh okay so i got my path set up as of right now i just set that up set that up and what you're gonna do is actually just move a single frame forward so you can press the little plus key over here and actually should save your file to disk and now what you can do is actually get another file and now you can just actually reference the name that you just put out and there you go your grid comes back in now you don't have to worry about unlocking this on anything like that because now everything is on disk as a BGO I saved it as a BGO file so it's pretty much the same file so we got the file set up so what we're gonna do now is actually go back and uh, we pretty much got the same step as you got here with the shatter from his uh, Sandeep's file but now we got a little bit more detail pretty much in our little thing over here don't try avoid the straight lines like I did I did a whole lot of straight lines but for this tutorial is kind of necessary for the speed so we got the line set up so let's set up the next potion okay so 